What is up YouTube? Before I get into the video, let me remind you if you like my videos, hit that like and subscribe button. And also, if you feel the need to support me, hit me up on my Patreon at patreon.com slash Uncommon Ramen, capital U, capital R. Uh, any amount of support can help me bring more of this content to you more often. Okay, today we're going to take a look at Dargo the Shipwrecker and Malcolm Keen-Eyed Navigator. Um, recently I've been pretty obsessed with Dargo, so this is probably going to be the first installment of likely four installments with Dargo in it, um, because it's just a really interesting commander. Um, Dargo and Malcolm uh, came from a CEDH standing, I believe, at one point in time, um, and they fell from graces for one reason or another. Um, so the challenge here was trying to make a um, casual deck with it, and I think some of the best ways to take a competitive deck and turn it casual is to literally turn it into a uh, tribal deck and then also just add bad cards to it. So uh, let's take a look inside here. We're going to start with Malcolm, Keen-Eyed Navigator, 2 and a blue for a 2-2 two -two with flying. Uh, whenever one or more pirates you control deal uh, damage to your opponents, you create a treasure for each opponent dealt damage. As partner, so we got Dargo, the Shipwrecker, this is 6 and a red. Uh, for a 7-5 with Trample. Uh, as long or as an additional cost to cast this spell, you may sacrifice any number of artifacts and or creatures. This spell costs 2 less to cast for each permanent sacrifice this way, and 2 less to cast for each other artifact or creature you've sacrificed this turn. Also with Partner. So we're going to take a look at the creatures. I'm going to start with an Amphin Mutineer. Azure Fleet Admiral, Breaches Brazen Plunderer, Breaches Eager Pillager, Captain Lannery Storm, Captain Storm Cosmium Raider, Captain Vargas Wrath, Coastline Marauders, Coercive Recruiter, Corsair Captain, Cutthroat Negotiator, Dire Fleet Daredevil, Dockside Extortionist, Emberwild Captain, Fathom Fleet Swordjack, Glinthorn Buccaneer, Impulsive Pilferer, Kitesail Larcenist, Lightning Rig Crew, Malcolm Alluring Scoundrel, Merchant Raiders, Port Razor, Protean Raider, Siren Storm Tamer, Spectral Sailor, Stormfleet Sprinter, Warkite Marauder, Zorn, Zara Re Renegade Recruiter, and Zephyr Singer. Okay, we're going to jump into instance. We've got a braid, an offer you can't refuse, big score, chaos warp, counterspell. Fiery Cannonade, Lookout's Dispersal, Negate, Pongify, Spell Swindle, Unexpected Windfall. Next up is Sorceries, Blasphemous Act, Brass's Bounty, Charter Course, Pirate's Pillage, Pirate's Prize, Raise the Palisade, and Seize the Spoils. Next up is Artifacts. Arcane Signet, Commander Sphere, Gold Vein Pick, Is It Signet, Lightning Greaves, Mind Stone, Soul Ring, 
Swift Foot Boots, Talisman of Creativity, The Indomitable, and Treasure Map. Next up is Enchantments. Coastal Piracy, Curiosity, Daring Piracy, Guild Artisan, Reconnaissance Mission, Sticky Fingers, and Storm the Vault. Okay, next up is Non Basics. Cascade Bluffs, Command Tower, Evolving Wilds, Is It Boilerworks, Mines of Moira, sorry, Mines of Moria, Path of Ancestry, Rogue's Passage, Shivan Reef, Steam Vents, Stormcarved Coast, Sulphur Falls, and Training Center. And finally we got Basic Lands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten islands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten mountains. So that's going to be the Dargo and Malcolm deck. Um, the original idea was to focus this around treasure. Um, obviously, with Dar or not Dargo, Malcolm's ability, we want to have pirates that deal damage so that we can take advantage of the treasures that Malcolm can make. So having enough pirates out there to deal damage to each of your opponents definitely helps. Um, the infinite combo with, uh, well, I guess semi-infinite. The semi-infinite combo with um, Malcolm and Glinthorn is in here uh, as a finisher, um, if need be. Uh, although it's it kind of cheap. It's an easy cut if you're looking to cut those kind of things. Um, also, Dockside is in here um, just because it makes treasures, but is also not necessary to any of the strategies. Um, so it's another easy cut in this deck. Um, it was originally in a uh, Dargo Malcolm deck because it can um, have some in infinites with uh, CEDH related cards. Um, but yeah, this is... Malcolm, Kenai, Navigator, Dargo, the Shipwreck, uh, Shipwrecker, um, Pirate Tribal with a treasure theme. If you have any questions, leave those down below. Keep it positive. I'll remove negative comments. And until next time, guys, peace.